Wisconsin Democrats are celebrating after helping Judge Rebecca Dallet win an open seat on the state Supreme Court. Ballot or Dallet beat the conservative-leaning candidate, Judge Michael Scranock, by 12 points with about 1 million votes cast. So what message did voters send in Wisconsin? Now is, and is Wisconsin now part of the blue wave? We have our esteemed political panel back to talk about it all. Joining me is Joe Sebecki, Democratic strategist and founder of Sebecki Communications, and Stefan Thompson, Republican consultant and president of Battleground Strategies. Welcome, guys. Let's start with Scott Walker's tweet last night. He says, quote, tonight's results show we are at risk of a blue wave in Wisconsin. The far left is driven by anger and hatred. We must counter it with optimism and organization. Stefan, should Republicans in the state be worried? Well, I think the message in the governor's uh, tweets is pretty clear. If we can't match the Democrats' enthusiasm uh, this November, we risk losing all that we've accomplished over the last eight years. Uh, it sounds sort of cliche at this point, but it really is all about turnout. We have a positive record of reform over the last eight years, cutting taxes by $8 billion, overseeing the unemployment rate dropping from 9.2 to 2.9 percent. We've done a lot of great things, but if we can't match their intensity in November, it all could get erased. Joe, are Democrats more motivated? They are, and part of the reason for that is the national political environment. There's no denying that. But candidates matter and the campaigns they run matter. This wasn't just about the judicial race last night. Walker supported the constitutional amendment that was defeated last night. A judge he endorsed in Waukesha County la lost last night. I think after eight long years, the bloom is kind of off the rose when it comes to Governor Walker. And that's one of the reasons he's very concerned heading into the fall. All right, let's talk about President Donald Trump. Rebecca Dalek carried 24 counties that Republican Donald Trump won in 2016. Do you think, Joe, that Donald Trump will be a factor in November of 2018? He'll be one factor, but so will the candidates and the campaigns they run. The, the takeaway for me last night was this was not just about Democrats rolling up the score in Madison and Milwaukee. This was blue waves crashing to shore across the state, every region, every type of community, and that bodes very well for the fall. Stefan, how did you read the uh, Trump voter last night? Did they not show up? Were they not as interested in this race? Well, listen, I think we need to keep this in context that this was a judicial election. It was nonpartisan and it took place in April. Remember, um, you know, in 2008, this very same Supreme Court race, a conservative took out an incumbent uh, justice, and yet seven months later, Barack Obama won Wisconsin. In right. June of 2012, Scott Walker won his recall. Six months later, Barack Obama won Wisconsin. We're a battleground state, and we will be this November. Yeah, so let's talk about some of those numbers. Last night, turnout was at about one million voters statewide. In 2016, in the presidential race, when Trump wins, close to three million voters. The last time the governor won in 2014, about 2.4 million. So, Stefan, do you think that is the caveat here for both sides? I do. I do. I think that what's passed isn't always necessarily prologue. You know, when Governor Walker won his recall in June of 2012, he won, for instance, Brown County by about 20,000 votes. Six months later, Mitt Romney only won it by 2,000 votes. So what happens in a spring or a summer election isn't always necessarily what's going to happen in November. Joe, the blue, blue wave for real? Uh, I think it may be, but I couldn't agree with Stefan Moore. What happened on April 3rd does not mean anybody knows what's going to happen in November. Anybody who tells you they know, they're not, they're not being straight with you. All right. That's why I have you guys here to tell me about this. Thank you very much, Joe and Stefan. Thanks for joining us.